Hey everyone, it's your boy Cha. So today, as usual, I'm going to flex my drawing to you, plat. I'm going to teach you guys how to draw using references, but with the concept. Alright, so today, we will try to draw Joey the Anime Man. As I am doing an entry for the Anime Man Discord event. For this drawing, I need to be particular on the details to deliver the concept of the drawing. So, like usual, fucking research. First up, as many as you know, or at least I know, Joey have his own avatar in anime style. So bam, there you go. Then I want Joey face, bam, his face. And finally, I want a pose, bam, a pose. Now, some inspiration. BAM! That's Mithimo Avatar. If you like Let's Play content, go and watch Mithimo. He's super funny. Now, we have everything. Oh yeah, on the other note, I received comments from my beloved fans. They prefer me to be serious in this type of video. So, I'm trying my best here. Since I'm a f***ing retard who love me. But, I'll keep a minimum for this one. Because I love y'all. Keep bombards me with the suggestions down below. Alright. Let's get started my boys. So we have everything we needed. As usual, we're gonna start with a rough sketch. Like I told you guys before, if you're using a paint tool side, or whatever program you're using, zoom the screen a little bit and do the sketch. The reason for this is, my preset canvas is in A4 size, so the maximum size of the pencil tool inside is not that big. When I'm sketching a rough line, I like it to be bold, because I will reduce the capacity later on when I'm inking. So I want the lines to be visible, yet not interfering with my vision. The reason I choose this specific pose is because my concept for this piece is I want to reflect what Joey do in his life. He's the anime man, the experts of the anime, the anime sensei, kind of like Master Shifu. This pose look rather smart to me, with that glasses, he almost look like a master watching his students training from afar. Now, let's get ahead and complete the sketch. Now you see here that I actually do a second layer of rough sketch. The reason is the first sketch was so rough that I will get distracted by those lines if I proceed to doing the line art. Like I said in the previous video, it is preferably at least by me to sketch things as detailed as possible. So that when it comes to inking, you don't have to pay too much attention on coming up with the details. Then when you're done with it and you're happy on how it looks like, go ahead and resize the sketch to be fit on your canvas preset. And now, we are inking. As for this, I like to use brush tool. Some use air brush tool, some use pen tool, but I prefer the normal brush. And always remember that for your drawing to look more aesthetic, avoid use pure black ink. Always choose the dark brown tone since you will be coloring this piece, so brownish multiplier lines will look much better than a plain black ink. But if you're doing like a very thin and clean line art, with a contrast of light flat coloring style, then black ink will look awesome on it. It is a matter of what kind of style are you doing. In the end, it doesn't matter that much. It all back to how you prefer your art to looks like. Depends on your choice of style.
After that, like usual, create a new layer for the color and place it below the line art layer so the color won't appear on top of your lines. Then go ahead and start dropping your base color. I'm varying my style of artwork. And for this piece, instead of using the section tool to make the shadow part and fill them, I use the same brush with a little bit darker tone. Then I blend them together with a blow tool. At first, I'm not sure how well it will look like, but I guess it's pretty okay-ish. As I'm doing the coloring, one of my Discord friends told me that it will look much better if Joey is actually in a traditional style clothes. So thanks to the cute kid cat, I've decided to change his appearance for this art. And it end up looks so great. A big shout out to Cat for the great suggestion. I love you cat. So here's the final product. It looked different because usually before I consider any of my art completed, I always edit them out in Photoshop, like to see if there's something off about the drawing that need to be fixed, or something additional things I can do to make it look cooler. For this one, again, 
Cat suggests me to make the hair look darker so Joey doesn't appear like an old man. And I add some red features like the flowers on the clothes, some background and some lighting. And for this step, I'm not sure on recording them. As usually, I constantly open my web browser to search for new things during this stage. But if you guys want to see it, just comment down below. So that's the end of my video. Thank you very 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 much for watching. Leave a like and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. So as usual guys, check out my coffee page for more interesting stuff. And check out anime main content if you're a weeb like me. That's all for today. Have a fantastic day. I'll talk to you in the next one. Ciao. Bouncing off. Nice.